What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, the protest is ongoing, and the Hausa community in uh, Lagos have just come under attack by uh, protesters as their food stuff, just as you can see right now, is on fire. You get so, and these guys are running away. There is serious palpable tension in the air right now. They, those hoodlums have been burning, you get. Um, they've been burning down a lot of government institutions like BRT bus. They burned down more than 50 vehicles, burnt down uh, Sun newspaper headquarters. You get, and virtually everything is burning. You get, we don't know what is going to be left over. Immediately, the ashes of this smoke um, actually subsides. But however, today, as I speak to you now, the other community have come under serious uh, attack. But we don't know if there is going to be. Uh, a retaliation because one um, these other community are also known for for violence but from the look of things it appears those that have the monopoly of violence right now are the thugs who have set you know um, most of you you have to forgive me for using that uh, term thugs or um, hoodlums you get some people said as you use the word protesters but I think answers protesters will not go this far to um to actually um uh, cause violence they wouldn't go this so i think they are the uh, hoodlums so guys but however these guys are hungry the hoodlums are actually angry uh for decade of negligence decade of extortion decades of you know uh, of oppression by the government of the day and right now they've risen up and are shutting down everywhere Everywhere is shutting down, not only just Lagos. Today, as I speak to you, uh, the Edo boys have just brought down an helicopter, police helicopter. You get it. On how they were able to do it is a mystery, but I want you to watch out for that video. I'm going to make a video on that, and then we'll understand the mystery of how they were able to bring down a um, helicopter. And then there, there are so a lot of things that has happened. We don't 24 hours between yesterday and today. All right, and again, um, a video surfaced online today, and that video is trending on social media that Tom Polo, the dreaded freedom fighter, is back. And this is happening as nine militants jointly issued a statement that if they, in fact, they gave the federal government an ultimatum that should the federal government not listen to the NSAS protesters, that they were going to blow up the country. You get, I know what they're going to do, they're going to start. They will resume hostilities and start blowing up oil pipeline. You get me? Attack federal government installation. You get so so guys right now. There is very high tension. And you know, before this time, before the whole thing snowballed into a full chaos, people had actually advised Wari to take this essence protester demand serious. And you could see that they were not serious. Okay, initially. It appears the federal government will try to actually buy in into the demands of uh, the NSAS protesters by disbanding SARS. But all of a sudden, they now, you know, I mean, they now change the name to SWAT. I mean, why so sudden? Even the Nigerian governor's foreign chairman, Fanika Kayode, you understand me, exclaimed and said that the IG was too fast. In fact, the governor, not only just the Nigerian governor's forum, the governor as a whole, governors as a whole, you know, Sammy berated the IG of police that he was too fast to have formed a new uh, police outfit called SWAT to replace SARS. You get it? And you know that these people have endured decades of torture, extortion, you know, Sammy, under SARS. So they, they don't want to hear any other name again. And again, they don't try. This is not, that wasn't the first time, you see, SARS have been disbanded. According to according, signs have been disbanded up to several times, up to three times, and all of that. So there is the issue of mistrust between the NSAS protesters and the government of the day. You see, there was an issue of mistrust, and the government knows it. Why didn't they address this issue of mistrust? You see, that is a problem. And if you look at right from the inception of Buhari's government, he has never entertained protests. He has never any protest. Okay, look at what happened to. To Shawore last year, uh, August. Look at what happened to him. He was arrested and charged with treason. 
and insult, uh, what are they, they say they insulted by all, and all of that. So, but you see, a day of reckoning always come like this, and it is a day our politicians never wish will ever happen. They never wish this day to happen because if it happens, you know that power belongs to the people and not the government. Because right now, Tinubu right now is in France. Is it in France or UK? And the news we are hearing is that they, they have kidnapped his son. His son has been kidnapped. You get so I probably won't know if they are going to kill him or not because Tinubu, who is supposed to be the father of Lagos, Travel out of the state, left his own children to die in the hands of the military. You see, he deserves death. So, guys, these are thriving moments, and a lot of thing is happening in this country right now. Some of these people, in fact, I will just tell you this: from the look of it, it appears the attack on this house community is a reprisal against what they did to um, to Ensa's protesters' vehicle in Abuja. You get in Apple where they packed their vehicle, they went and burnt their vehicle. Most of them broke the glass. They that day they burnt. I believe you guys have seen the video now. They burnt more than 200 vehicles. More than 200 vehicles were on a flame. So I I think this one is a reprisal against um, that is a revenge, you know. So and uh, from the look of the everywhere is burning now, and by the time this smoke settles the new country will emerge that is what is happening a new country is going to emerge so uh what do you guys think about this do you think that there is still remedy for for now both of us enjoy the senate in fact the senate day before yesterday as a matter of urgency ordered Buhari to give a state of the union address to address the nation immediately and guess what up to now he hasn't done that up till now he has not done that even about St. Joe, as a matter of urgency tells Buhari to immediately address the nation before things go out of hand and things have already gone out of hand I don't think if even if Buhari addresses the nation today I don't think he's going to calm the nerves of these um, uh, angry youths he's not going to calm the, their nerves because uh, already it has already begun and there is no way you can put this thing out. You can't stop a moving train. What you are seeing now is like a moving train. You can't stop it until it comes to a halt by its own self. So right now, Lagos is burning. The entire country is burning. And those people who ill advise worry, they will go in for it because even the United Nations have told uh, the president to investigate the shooting at Lekki Toll Gate. You get that you should investigate the, the, that that must not be allowed to go unpunished so who was that general that man that give the order to shoot when they were supposed to go after those hoodlums burning banks burning government institutions they didn't go after them they came after protesters that were sitting one place that is totally wicked it shows unprofessionalism and it shows the nigerian soldiers are coward that's what everybody is saying that the nigerian soldiers are coward how will you go and and so guys, I, I don't want to go far. I will, if I do, I will blast the government seriously. Let me not go far. So what do you guys think about this? I want to drop your own comment below. Let me know what uh, you actually think about this. Thank you very much. God bless you.